Hi, this is Kathy Koliakova with Social for Business and Time on Task Virtual Assistant Services. And today I'm going to do a quick video on how to use Basecamp. Basecamp is a project management system that we use with many of our clients and within our teamwork as well. It's a great system and it's fabulous for being able to keep track of work and projects and keep information in different messages and threads of info so that you're not tracking things down through a group of people by email because that can turn into a disaster very quickly. So what we're going to do today is go into a test project that I created and this is in the old Basecamp system which is one that we're still using now for our clients. Um, Basecamp has made some changes and improvements but in my opinion they haven't done all the improvements that I would like to see and in order to be able to work with clients on our new system I will not be moving over until we see some different changes. So for now this is what we're using. So essentially when um, the first thing that will happen is when you get connected to our team we will send you an invitation to connect to Basecamp. It will come through email and you just basically set up a username and password to get you into our Basecamp system. And if you aren't sure and can't remember um, where to go to log into it. You can always save the URL in one of your favorites so you remember or you just simply go to timeontaskva.basecamphq.com and then you can log in there as well. So we're all logged in and I've got a little test project here. I've connected a few people to it and so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what we use for the majority of the time when we're um, working within Basecamp. So there's really uh, six different main, there's, I guess there's six different main areas that we use. The overview, which is what I'm looking at now, and it shows me any different comments, messages, to-dos, anything like that. There's a messaging system, so that's where we start a new message or thread in this area. We have a to-do system in here, so you can also set up to-dos with deadlines and assign it to certain people. We'll do that a lot with newsletters that are done on a certain date each month or also we'll do it with blog posts or anything like that where we know we're going to be planning out the work. We'll usually use a to-do list. The calendar allows you to uh, take a look at what's going on. You can save different, you know, add in different events, make it a multi-day event. So maybe if um, I guess for instance we'll put, you know, if I'm going to be on Christmas vacation I can add this in here. I'm going to make it a multi-day event and I'm going to pick the date that it's going to end on. And then once I save this as an event, it'll show in here, you know, that there's something happening on this date and if somebody wants to click on that, they can open it up and see what the information is all about. And so these ones you really want the titles to make a little bit of sense. So there we go. Um, so anybody can set one up um, within the system here and it's a really good way to help keep organized as to if you're in or out of the office and available for um, different uh, meetings and, and what have you with that area. So that's what the calendar looks like. Then we also have what's called the right board. So this is where I like to, what we generally do with most clients is we'll save a login right board. So we will create a board here that has all your passwords to your accounts and the way that this works is um, you can easily update a right board and make changes and not send an email out. So that's kind of one of the beauties of, of using the system is that um, once we connect you in there if you have to hand over a password or change a password you can simply go to your login right board click on it and go in and add or change or enter the information by hitting edit the page once it's set up and so you enter the information in here. You can certainly tick to notify us by email, um, but I generally say don't do that because then an email is going out with a password in it. This way there's no emails going, so it just keeps your passwords a little more secure. The other thing that we use, we don't use the time feature, there's a time tracking feature, is files. So if there's any documents, spreadsheets, whatever it might be, image files that are loaded up into the system here, then they would be stored here and you'd be able to see an entire list of all the files attached. Generally what we use this with is we use posting a message. So we will send a message to someone, um, so you know, like some new work to assign 
maybe you've got something happening you put the information in here you put your message in this area and then what you do you can add if you need to add a file this is where you do it you choose the file from wherever it may be add it upload it and put it up there and then you tick the people that you want to see this notification I'm posting this so normally I don't have to post this myself um, but I'm going to do it this time because I want the information to come into my email so I can show you how that works. So say for instance um, I'm going to send part of this message to Patty who's on my team here. Um, I'm just going to put a little test message in here. So what happens is the people that you select get the notification. A common thing that happens is people forget you'll start a message and you'll be talking to somebody who wants to send them something but you forget to tick to indicate that they need to get a copy of this message. So always remember to indicate on here who you want to get the message. And then you hit post the message. So then what this does is it actually sends off an email notification to me and Patty um, letting us know there's a new message up there. So Basecamp does work with your email in that you're going to get an email notification of this happening but you can easily delete the emails and then just go and deal with the message right in Basecamp and you would go in and post your reply message in here. If you need to attach a file now you can certainly do that. I think what I'll do is I'll just grab a sample one here so you can see that going on and then hit add this comment. So now I've attached a file which also means now if I click the files tab there's now a file, full, file in here of a document. So I've done these test messages and I'm going to show you what happens when they come in the email system. Because one thing that really tends to happen a lot is people forget that um, when the email comes you can very easily just hit reply and the email reply will go back. The problem that comes into this so here's my message and my notification. So it lets me know that this is the project, what company it was in, who posted the message, and then this new work to assign is actually a link to that project or to that message thread directly in Basecamp. And then this test message is the content of the message thread. So I can easily hit reply here and this is sort of what happens in error and it's going to go back to this Basecamp email and um, you would enter the reply info. What happens is sometimes people will go down here and they'll say, um, you know, maybe changes noted below. This is something that you can easily do in, in an email, not a problem, go down and add, you know, you've got, okay, so your message to me was this, um, yes I want this to happen or you might say change to this word so you're going down and you're putting some editing in to the message that came into you and what I want to show you here is the the one issue with Basecamp is those messages the edits that you made in the bottom don't actually show up in the Basecamp system so that's why I always tell people I would much rather you click on the link back to the message system so that you can see the entire thread of what's happening. So I can see the first message and I actually hadn't even gotten the second one. So that's what can happen sometimes is people um, will see the first message which was this test one and then there's a secondary message. If you're replying by email you may not see something that got posted in the meantime but also you'll note nothing came back in there with this message um, with my reply back to it as to um, the, the additions and the changes. So that's what's going to show up here. So I can see that I replied by email because it tells you right here. I hit enter reply info changes noted below but you'll see where it stops adding anything in is strictly at my signature the only thing that will show up is anything that you put in as the actual email change. So that's something you have to really be cautious of and watch out for and make certain that 
um, if you have to edit or add anything in there that you're not changing it anywhere below the message. So where you would hit the reply, that's the information I entered in. Anything that I did beneath, for instance this part, is not going to come through. So you're a lot better off in any of these messages that come in is to go into the project and just literally click on where the new message is. It takes you into the Basecamp system. You can see the message that you want in there and then you can add your final reply in here. And again these emails will go out to everybody that's ticked on the message thread and you can always see that over here on the who's talking about and the comment notification area. So that's the biggest sort of information to really follow there is when you get the notification in this is your link by the picture of who posted the new message to the actual message and the biggest benefit to using a system like this is you can go and delete these emails because all the information in your conversation is happening directly on the Basecamp system so that's why we like to use this because we can follow the thread, the history of what happened, and keep things um, straight as to certain projects and tasks that we might be working on. We also always try to start a new message. For instance, if you have information you're going to send in your newsletter, that's great. Don't add you know, your new blog post information to the newsletter thread. You just want to go in at that point and start a new message, and then you would go in here and enter blog post info to post and then you go in type your information or add your file and tick who you want to get that information as well. So those are the main parts that we go through um, and use within the Basecamp system. You can see now there's a little more activity happening and you always see the activity when you're looking under the overview tab so you can take a peek at what's happening in here um, and see what's going on. You can see that there was a new event added, the right board had some information changed, there's a new message, then there's a comment on that message, a file was uploaded, and then there's another comment on there. And you can click on any one of these to go to that area and it will take you directly to the section where you clicked in the overview. You can see now there's the files that are kept in here. If you needed to update or delete this file because maybe it's no longer relevant, you can certainly do that with the delete one. You can also click here and upload a new version, so maybe you have a newer version to go in there. Um, the other thing you can also do is click in here to go back to the message and add in some comments if you need to do that as well. The to-dos, you can simply add on, so for instance this might be a message about adding some, sending some copy for a, a newsletter. When you have your newsletter copy then that you want to send back to your virtual assistant, um, you put, you know, here it is. If you've got a file with it, you can click and add the file put in the um, information that you've got, tick, it's already started, so whoever started that to-do list will get a copy back, and then hit add to comment, and that sends an email notification off to Patty, letting her know that this document and this information has been here. Once that's all done and over, then we will actually click to say that the to-do is finished, and now it's all done and you can see here where one of the to-dos got passed over and crossed out because it was finished. So those are the main parts that we use uh, within our Basecamp system so that you can make sure that you stay up to date and understand how to assign and work along with the message threads in here. If you have any other questions please feel free to give us a call at timeontaskva.com and we will certainly help you out. Again, this was primarily created for our clients so they understand how to use the Basecamp system that we use with them, but hopefully it will also help educate some other people that may be stumbling along it when they come and find it on our video channel. Thank you very much and hopefully you will have a great day and have a much easier time using Basecamp now that you know how to navigate that system.